we're going to make this camera use CHDK. And for this, we're going to put CHDK on this SD card. Before we can do that, we need to put the card in and make at least one photo. All right, so let's just do that. All right, and let's turn the camera off. Put the card out. And uh, while this security is in the off position, so it has to be up, so we can write, let's put it in our SD card reader. All right, and it shows up on the desktop. Uh, we don't need to look at any files, all we need is Chimp. This is a really nice tool that can automatically install THDK. I'm going to run it, I'm going to say yes to the administration permission. And in here, we're going to just continue and uh, accept all of these. And it automatically detected the card, this is correct, just double check it. I mean, it could theoretically empty out your hard drive, but this is proper. No camera software detected. Detecting camera, it detected the camera from the photo. And sometimes there are errors in this software. So you just can restart it and it works. I mean, that happened to me once and it worked when I just restarted it. I'm gonna just use install chdk stable. Other options might help with special cases, but you should read on that. We can talk about this in the comments. Camera not found. I see. Back to Chimp. Okay, let's do this again. Continue, accept all, continue. Okay. So let's try development this time. This looks better. Continue. Okay, and it's copying stuff. And we can see there's a CHDK folder, so it's a completely different deal now. And let's eject it and continue. And what's happening now? Blah, successfully. Uh, the card must be locked. So let's just take it out and lock it. All right. Press the playback button to enter the CHDK alt mode. Menu button in alt mode to access the menu. All right. So let's uh, get in here, put it in. Uh, but back on the screen, we can also check out some notes. Card is now powered off during the CHDK start. Video bitrate can be adjusted. Oh yes, these are notes specific to this camera. Overlay is slow, overlay flickers. Yeah, I noticed that. It is actually usable enough. Let's turn on the camera. Okay, oh, and it flickers. And play. And menu. A lot of flickering. Let's go to scripts. And let's load a script file, uh, HDR, that's what I was interested in. So now let's try the high dynamic range shot. There we go, one, two, three. Uh, let's check out something else, like other scripts. Menu, script, uh, load script from file, interval. There are better scripts, but let's just try that, interval. And uh, where are the settings? Oh, let's just reduce that. All right, and now let's run it. Well, the script is running. You can see one photo every five seconds. Anyways, this is how you install CHDK on the Canon EOS M10 and how you use the scripts. Funny how I didn't figure out that I have to get the dev version at first. And by the time you watch this, you might be able to use a stable one. You can check on their website. They have this wiki with all that info. Oh yeah, and to turn this off, I just press the shutter again. And you can see in the bottom left, interrupted. So I hope this was useful. Give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment if you need any help or if something doesn't work for you. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!